Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a quick Divi Pro tip. I'm going to show you how you can use that Divi Blog Offset feature. So it's kind of a mysterious feature if you've never seen it used, but it's actually a really cool feature. Um, you can actually make a really nice blog page, like the blog archive page, using this offset feature. And I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. Let's get started. All right, so as you know, we've been doing a lot of Divi blog tutorials. In fact, we should probably open up our category for Divi blog tutorials because what's going to happen here is this feature that we're talking about here today, the offset feature, will actually work really well with some of the other tutorials that we've covered. And I'm not going to get into all that today. We're going to have some future tutorials where we actually create like really nice blog pages using kind of a combination of all of the features we've covered so far. But basically right now, I just have a blog module set up right here in my demo site here, and I just have it on the grid mode. But what I wanna show you is when I open up the blog module settings, there you could see um, I'm in the content tab, in the content toggle, and when you scroll down here a little bit, you'll see the last item here in that toggle post offset number and it's on zero by default so you can go ahead and anytime you're not sure what you know something is click that little question mark it says choose how many posts you would like to skip these posts will not be shown in the feed now that probably is not helpful especially if you're new to Divi or you've never used this feature so I'm going to try to explain this in a better way um, so let's go ahead and set our post count to three. Now the post offset feature is meant to be used with multiple Divi blog modules. It would not really be super helpful with just one, but I can show you what would happen if we just had one. So I'll go back in here and what I'll do is I'll add the number one here. Now you watch, remember this, look at these pictures here to kind of get an idea of what's going to happen here. So if I say one, it's skipping the most recent blog post. Okay. Now I could keep going. I could say two. Now it's skipping the first two blog posts. So I could, you know, get rid of it, get back to normal. You'll see that that one with the cat was all the way over here. So it was skipping these. So basically that's what it's saying when it says, these posts will not be shown in the feed um, and how many posts you would like to skip. So basically it's just how many would you like to skip? And you may be saying, well, why wouldn't you want to show those? And why would you use this feature? Let me show you something. If I go ahead and duplicate this, let's say that um, I want the very first one here to just be one post. So if I say the post count to one, and let's say I want this to have a different layout. Maybe I go up here and put it on the full width layout. All right. And maybe just to make this a little better, what I'm going to do is add another row. And in fact, I'll just go ahead and move this module into this row. And I'm just showing you what I could do here with this. What I'm going to do is make this into kind of like a a feature, the, the latest post type of thing. So I'm gonna put that there. And if I would put a headline here, text like this, let's say I would say something like latest post right there, okay? And you know, I don't know, make it a headline of some sort. All right, so there's the latest post. But look, the neck, it's also here. This is where you'd want to come in here. And in fact, you could just label this something different like um, more post. Okay. So if you had a section at the top, you're trying to feature one. This is why you would use that post offset to make different layouts like this. So if I say, well, the post count doesn't matter. But if I say the offset number is one, then right there are my first four but it's showing just the one in here and then it's skipping that one in this module. And I could do, I could keep going with this type of thing. Um, maybe just for some reason 
I want there to be another one that's highlighted down here. Like I want, I want my fifth one to be highlighted or something, right? Um, we'll just say highlighted post. Well, that's not right because that's the first one. So we'd have to count how many we're at so far. So it's one, two, three, four. So if I say post offset four, that's how many it will skip. And so this is the fifth one. And I could keep doing that, you know, you get, you get the idea, but I could keep going here. Um, I could copy this one and then change that number to five. And it would say, it would show, you know, six, seven, eight here. But that's the post offset feature. Hope that makes sense. In the future, we'll do some tutorials where we combine this with some of the other ones that we did in the Divi blog series. All right, so there you go. Now you know how you can use that offset feature. And just, I would love to see some of the designs of your blog pages that you guys make using this. You know, like I said, mix it up. You know, have a, maybe one where it's kind of a horizontal and then have a grid and then maybe a headline like, here's some featured posts or whatever you want to do. Um, I think it's really cool. I think this is a, a helpful feature and it's kind of one of those that is not very well known so i wanted to highlight that and hopefully this has been helpful um, be sure to subscribe because this is the kind of stuff we tell you about every single week all right we'll see you guys in the next video